After 19 years in captivity, I was executed on February 8, 1587. I am Mary Stuart, the sixth Queen of Scotland. This is my story. When I was a baby, I was crowned Queen of Scots, after my father, King James IV died in 1542. As a little baby, of course, I was not fit to rule. So my family sent me to France to grow up. There I enjoyed great luxury. When I was still a young girl, I was married to Francis, the son of King Henry II of France. We were very happy, but unfortunately Francis died only a year after his accession and I became a widow at only 18 years old. I decided to return to Scotland to rule again in my homeland. There I had to marry again. And so I chose my cousin Henry Stuart, whom I found very attractive. But unfortunately, he turned out to be vain, arrogant, and a raging drunk. When I became pregnant, he accused me of having an affair with my secretary, David Rizzio, and had him murdered in front of me. From that time on, I was sure that he would eventually kill me too. However, on February 10, 1567, my husband died under mysterious circumstances. The house where my husband was staying at that time was destroyed by an explosion. However, his body was not found in the rubble, but in the garden of the property. Since there were no signs of burns or injuries from the explosion, but instead features indicating suffocation, this led to rumors that I had a lover who was responsible for the death. However, there is no evidence of this. After Stuart's death, I married my alleged affair Earl of Bothwell, which finally ruined my reputation. Unfortunately, this marriage did not make me happy either. After a rebellion against my marriage to him, I was forced to abdicate and Bothwell fled into exile. There he died 12 years later, all to himself. Then came the day when I fled Scotland for England to seek refuge with my cousin Elizabeth I. She was to help me regain the throne of Scotland. But when I arrived in England, I was not received as I had hoped. Instead of helping me, my cousin took me into custody and held me captive for the next 19 years. During my imprisonment, I became involved in several conspiracies aimed at overthrowing my cousin Elizabeth and placing myself on the English throne. These conspiracies eventually led to my indictment for high treason and ultimately to my execution in 1587.